Former Real Housewives of New Jersey star Dina Manzo is back in the headlines because her ex-husband, Tommy Manzo, is facing 43 years in jail in the first alleged setup that he tried to have her now husband beaten. And this is one of the two beatings that he is allegedly connected to. Welcome back to the Campari Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. No, I'm not on vacation again. I'm just testing out our equipment because you know there are things coming up that I will be away and I wanna make sure the equipment works. So be sure to let me know your thoughts on the sound, mo most importantly. The video, we'll work that out. <laughs> anyway, so it's been a while since we talked about the Real Housewives of New Jersey star Dina Manzo and the whole situation with her ex-husband, Tommy Manzo. So this particular story that we're talking about has nothing to do with the home invasion where Dina and her husband now of, of over a, a few years, David, were beaten and her ex, Tommy, was alleged to be involved. Did you know a couple of years before this home invasion, he is now facing jail time for another setup where he was trying to get her then boyfriend, David, attacked. It's getting obsessed. All right, I know you're, you're probably like, Kempire, break this down for us. All right, so the reason why this is in the headlines right now is because Radar Online is reporting that Tommy Manzo, Dina's ex, is seeking a plea deal because right now he's facing nearly 50 years in prison. And Caroline Manzo, ain't no good gonna come to you. See, this is why I don't wanna even see Caroline Manzo anymore because every time I think about Caroline Manzo coming back to New Jersey or Ultimate Girls Trip, I'm reminded that she wrote a character letter for Tommy Manzo. Hell no. And did Dolores write a character letter for him as well? Move your dirty blood clot, your bad-minded witch, your wicked demonic serpent, yo. I'm gonna leave that alone. So right, Radar Online writes this. Real Housewives of New Jersey star Dina Manzo's ex-husband recently sought a plea deal for the 2015 mob beating of the reality TV star's new boyfriend at the time. Because as you know, they're married now. They said, in a sudden development to come more than eight years after now husband David Canton was assaulted outside a New Jersey strip mall on July 18, 2015. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star's ex-husband, Thomas Manzo, a.k.a. Tommy, indicated that he will seek a plea deal in connection to the attack. So they said plea negotiations are anticipated and both the United States and the defendant desire additional time to negotiate a plea agreement, which would render any grand jury proceedings and any subsequent trial of this matter unnecessary. A court order signed by the Newark federal judge, Kevin McNulty on August 17th read. They said, according to the court documents, Dina's ex-husband also waived his right to a speedy trial in a New Jersey federal court. So Radar Online previously reported that Tommy Manzo was indicted on federal charges in 2020 in connection to the July 15 attack on Canton. They said that Tommy al allegedly hired John Perna, a suspected member of the infamous Lucchese crime family, to track what in the New Jersey mob Sopranos is going on. He got John Perna to track down David Canton, her now husband, Dina Manzo's now husband, and leave him with a, quote, permanent facial scar following Tommy and Dina's separation in 2012. Are you following the timeline here? And why Dina does not want to ever return to New Jersey? She does, but she does it, she's like in and out. They said the Real Housewives of New Jersey star's ex-husband allegedly offered Perna a discount. Pay attention to this. I mentioned Caroline Manzo. Remember the history here. He offered Perna, not a discount, to do all of this, a discount on his planned wedding reception at the Brownstone, the Manzo family's catering hall in Patterson, New Jersey, in exchange for carrying out the attack against Canton. Okay. All right. Look, I, you can't make this stuff up. They said Perna and a suspected member of Perna's crew ultimately tracked Canton down on July 18, 2015 and assaulted Dina's then-boyfriend outside a Passaic County strip mall. 
Both Tommy Manzo and Perna were indicted for charges connected to the attack in 2020. And Perna ultimately pleaded guilty later that year to committing a violent crime in aid of racketeering. They said Perna was sentenced to two and a half years and was released last month, according to court records. So Raider says that they reported that Dina's ex-husband was ex-husband Tommy was later arrested again after he and another attacker allegedly invaded the Red Housewives New Jersey star in Canton's Monmouth County, New Jersey home. Twice. This is in connection. It's giving obsessed. So Canton was assaulted with a baseball bat and Dina was reportedly punched in the head and face. She was also robbed of a $60,000 diamond ring she received from Canton when the couple got engaged two weeks earlier. So it seems as if, oh, he must have found out that she got engaged. Oh, how dare she move on without me? They said, this is what happens. They said, one of the attackers said this, this is what happens when you F with a guy from Patterson. Not Dolores from Patterson. So they say this is what one of the attackers shouted during the second attack. Tommy Manzo and his co-defendant, who was later identified as a man named James Minello, were charged with robbery, burglary, aggravated assault, criminal restraint, and weapons charges. Tom Tommy was also reportedly charged with two counts of stalking. It's giving obsessed. They said the case remains pending resolution, according to a spokesperson for Monmouth County Prosecutor Raymond Santiago. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star and Tommy Manzo separated in 2012 and divorced in 2016. Dina and Canton, who started dating in 2015, married in 2017. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I'm not well versed on everybody's pop culture news story. But I had no idea if there was a earlier attack where David was being harassed. David must love you, Dina, because he stuck it out. Despite these attacks, he stuck it out and stood by her side. That is one you keep. And he's rich. Okay, come on. I wanted to leave that last part out. But and he's rich. They're doing very well for themselves over in California. But I do not blame Dina for never wanting to return to New Jersey again or the Real Housewives of New Jersey situation. Here's the other thing, though. Caroline Manzo. So, you know, one of the other stories that we did, go back and Google Schmoogle here on YouTube or whatever platform. We told you that Caroline Manzo wrote a character letter for her brother-in-law because this is Tommy is her brother-in-law. That's the connection. If you're a Real Housewives and Jersey fan, then you know that's her brother-in-law. She wrote a character letter to the judge in regards to her brother-in-law. So a lot of people want to get to the root of what has been the issues between Caroline Manzo and Dina over the years. Some people have said it's not just about that. It's other things in their relationship. But for me, that would be the cherry on top. That would be the cherry on top. You know that he is accused and facing jail time for attacking my now husband and attacking me. He's connected. His name is in the mix. And you wrote a character letter for him. I would never see it for Caroline. Ever. 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 And some have rumored to say that the issues between Dina and Dolores stems from that as well. Look, I can't come confirm. But if it's anything's true, like the Tory Lane situation, those character letters will be revealed. And that'll be a whole nother story for us to talk about. Guys, I could not wait to talk about this story because it's been a long time. And I literally was just saying, I don't remember during our Tuesday takeover, but I was just saying, I was like, what is the update on this situation? Well, we just got an update. He's seeking a plea deal in the original attack. No update on the home invasion. This man is going to be locked up. Won't let me out. They won't let me out. Guys, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, I got the fuse, you make a fire